going on, guys? It's Brian Jack with Some Men's Comics. We've reached the end of the work week. It is Friday, of course, and that can only mean one thing. It is time for Last Call. Jack, you ready to get into Final Order Cutoff this week? Oh, for sure. You know, not the biggest list that we've ever seen, but there are some intriguing picks. And Brian, I've got a sleeper on this list that I think is going to catch people off guard. Yes, we're going to get it right now. We're going to give you our picks that are hitting Final Order Cutoff this coming Monday night. June 8th. And the first one we we'll get into tonight is Dark Knight's Death Metal number two. This has a couple variants for it. There's a David Finch. There's also that gorgeous art germ. I'm excited to read this one, Jack. Yeah, this is definitely Reader Buzz. This is a mini series that is sure to get a lot of attention. We saw this with Dark Knight's Metal, the first installment. Snyder, Capullo, it gets the market's attention. On top of it, you're getting great variant art. You mentioned uh, David Finch, you mentioned Art German. Those have gotten attention. But don't forget about our channel sponsor, Frankie's Comics, who's coming with exclusive variants for every issue in the Dark Knight's Death Metal series. So stay tuned for issue number two hitting sale soon. Sticking with that Batman family, we're getting back over to the animated stuff with Batman Adventures Returns number two. This has the regular cover plus the B cover. And as Jack mentioned with our previous pick, this is also going to have a Frankie's exclusive by Peach Momoko, right? Yeah, absolute fire. It's got that homage to her previous incentive variant for Ghost Spider that got everybody's attention where we got the selfie look. We've talked about Batman Adventures and its return to publication and about the nostalgia that people are feeling for the original series. I really believe in this miniseries as a whole. You can't beat it. I think it's going to be one that you're going to want to put the set together. So make sure you're pre-ordering, but also that Peach Moko variant is sure to get the attention of the secondary market. So head to frankiescomics.com now and check that out. Yeah, even on the back issue, we talked about number one issue of the first Batman Adventure series. And not only that, but DC's putting out their, like, what do they call it? Their dollar comics or $2 comics. The re-releasing Adventures number one to time with this uh, release of the new series. So be on the lookout for that as well. Then sticking with DC, we're just going right down the line here. We got Deceased Dead Planet number one. This has a couple variants for it, and I like a couple of them. There's a Matina one. There's also a Ben Oliver one, as well as that coveted blank variant that Jack and I usually like as well. Yeah, and again, I like every variant for this book. Brian put me down for all four covers because I need that Ben Oliver movie homage. I got to have that Matina cover. And then again, got to read cover A, and you can't beat those blanks. I love the way they're doing those now. Yeah, and for the youngins out there, that that movie homage is for Blade Runner. (laughs) Next, we're moving over to Image Comics, especially with one of my favorite writers in all the comics with Jason Aaron. We're talking about that goddamn Virgin Brides number one. (laughs) <laughs> I love the way you said it. That's actually the way I read it. It's it, This is, of course, a spinoff of the series, The Goddamned, or Goddamned. Um, so it's Goddamned colon Virgin Brides. But uh, yeah, that's exactly how I, <laughs> I read it. I, thought, I was like, what is this new indie series? I was like, that's a wild title. But uh, yeah, this is, this is, again, a spinoff of the Jason Aaron series. Um, and, you know, comics have been on a shutdown for a while. So People may not remember, but Jason Aaron, you're talking about one of the biggest names in writing, uh, consistently delivers. This is probably not going to be a hit with everybody. Uh, it's it's probably definitely, it's going to be for readers of the main series. But if you've been on board, uh, you'll definitely, definitely want to grab this one, which is why we have it here. Make sure that you're alerted, because this one may go under some people's radar. But if you've read Goddamned by Jason Aaron, let us know in the comments section. What did you think? Is this one we need to be checking out? Is this one we've overlooked? Let us know. We need you, Sip of Comics family. Yeah, I mean, everyone knows his Thor run was one of my favorites. I like him in Avengers, but where I like him the most is when he's in those creator-owned titles, and this is one I'm looking forward to picking up to read for sure. Then here we have another independent book. This one's from Scout Comics, and we're talking about Everglade Angels number one. 
Yeah, this is another one of those Scout releases where it's not an organic Scout product. This was a Kickstarter book previously, did very well. It's now been picked up for a series from Scout. Um, usually I'm not a huge Scout Comics fan, but this one has gotten the attention of a lot of retailers. Do it retailer exclusive covers, which has then gotten my attention. I don't retailers must see something in this series that originally I did not, but either way, just like some previous books on the list. Frankiescomics.com has an exclusive for this book. It is on sale right now. Comes from heavyweight artist Ji Young Lee. Very interesting to see him do a Scout Comics book. Covers very reminiscent of almost a Harley Quinn look. So I think it's sure to be a popular one available now for $20 on their site. Yeah, we've talked about some of these books before, and I've always been a fan of when the victim, especially the female victim, uh, fights back, right? Like, yeah some of those movies like a spit on your grave and this kind of reminds me that where the female victims are treated like victims but they're not ready for them to fight back sticker with indy and we're going with that awa upshot imprint we're talking about devil's highway number one i've been liking these releases from upshot i'm looking forward to picking this one up as well yeah, and that's why we're highlighting this book on the list, Brian. The community has been saying the same thing. They were very excited for this brand new imprint that features, again, it's artists by artists. That's, uh, that's what it's all about. And uh, when we say artists, we don't necessarily mean like drawing art. Uh, you know, we're talking about the art in general of comic books. And, you know, you're seeing some major heavyweights getting their, you know, uh, getting the ability to do creator own work the way that they want to unencumbered. So this is a brand new release from Benjamin Piercy. You may be familiar with him from uh, Wolverine. Uh, he's definitely gotten a lot of attention on the Marvel side. So, you know, if, if you've been into his stuff with Marvel, I think this might be one you want to check out. Here we have those heroes in a half show. We're talking about Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Urban Legends number 24. Now we've talked about on the channel, these IDW variants, right? We've talked about several trends that play into these things. Uh, number one, the popularity of 80s and 90s nostalgia, which definitely plays in with Ninja Turtles. We've talked about the fact that there are certain trends even within these things, like as far as like the fact that there's a low print run. Uh, the, the demand may not be huge, but it's, it's forever. And then we've talked about the fact that sometimes what you want to pay attention to are certain things done by IDW that can tip you off to when a book may be hot. This book falls into multiple categories of that. First off, it's an offshoot series, meaning it's not the main Ninja Turtles series, so it doesn't get the same order number. Um, because of that, when books do pop, they pop really hard because the, there's just a limited number of books. And we've talked about this series specifically if you go back and you do your eBay research, you're going to see that there are a few books that you from this series, as far as incentives, that you will not even find on eBay. And when you do find recorded sales, you will be shocked at how much they go for. Several multiples time ratio. So it fits into that trend in that niche. But it hits another one, Brian, and another one that you and I like, and that's the double ratio incentive. We have a, both a 1 in 10 and a 1 in 25 incentive for this issue. And there have not been 1 in 25 incentives in this series since issue number one. So that is a big departure. But also that one in 10 incentive, if you look at the cover art that Brian's got shown on the screen right now, it is fire. It is Kevin Eastman. It is Shredder. And if you go back to issue number 14, another issue that Spike became a ghost and was going for like 75 or more, it's very reminiscent of that one where it's a Shredder Eastman kind of close up cover. I like the one in 10 for this one. I like the 1 in 25 just for the scarcity. I may not like the art as much as the 1 in 10, but the scarcity is going to be there. But this is a book that nobody's going to talk about because it's a reprint series. It's a, a secondary series, and it is by far my pick of this week. I think it, that a month from now, we are going to be talking about the ridiculous prices paid for these incentives. Yeah, we always talk about if there's a 1 in 25 for IDW, especially when it's not a number one. Definitely looking into that because it usually means something behind it, right? Yeah. So there you have it, guys. Those are our picks for books that are having final order cutoff this Monday night. Again, if you want to see that full final order cutoff list, head over to simplemanscomics.com. Got the whole list up there for you as well. And there's a bunch of great articles 
We've been adding content on there, not just on YouTube, but we've been putting stuff over there on the website as well, right? Absolutely. I will go out on a limb and say that simplebitscomics.com can compete with any comic book website out there. So we are going to continue to develop the website just like we're developing the channel. And you're going to get the same great quality and the same great content that you get right here on YouTube on simplebitscomics.com. So head over there and check that out. This is Brian Jack with Simple Men's Comics. We'll see you guys in the next video.